Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Arch Linux and Windows 10 or 11 using the Arch install script so let's get started. First of all open your web browser and search for Arch Linux. Go to its official website and download the latest version of Arch Linux ISO file and once you have done that go to another tab and search for Rufus and download the latest version of Rufus. Now after that insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and please make a backup data before proceeding and after that go to your downloads directory and open Rufus. Now select the Arch Linux ISO file which you just downloaded earlier and for the partition scheme select GPT and then click on start. This will make a bootable USB of Arch Linux. Now once this process is complete, close everything and then right click on your start menu and open disk management. Now give at least 40 GB of free space for Arch Linux. Click on shrink and then close everything and uh, now it's time to reboot and boot from the USB of Arch Linux. Now while your computer is starting, press the escape key or F12 key to open boot selection menu and choose the USB option. And after a while, you will boot into the Arch Linux installation. finally we have booted into Arch Linux installation so if you have an Ethernet connection you are already good to go but if you are using Wi-Fi then we need to connect to Wi-Fi first so type IWCTL now after that type device list as you can see my Wi-Fi adapter name is WLAN0 so I'm going to type station WLAN0 scan after that station WLAN0 get dash networks after that it will show a Wi-Fi networks available in your area now choose a Wi-Fi network so type station WLAN after that type your Wi-Fi password after that type station WLAN0 show and it will show the connectivity status and after that type quit to exit IWCTL
Now type lsblk to see the number of drives on your system and here you need to identify your correct drive block number so here I'm going to install on drive NVMe0N1 which is my 256 gigabyte SSD so type cfdisk slash dev slash your correct drive block number now you will see the free space which you created on windows now go to the free space and create a 1 GB partition and give type as EFI system after that go to the free space again and give all the available space and leave the partition type as Linux file system after that select right and type yes and then exit the CF disk Now type lsblk again and you will see these new partitions created and you can see their block number as well so in my case it is nvme0n1p3 and nvme0n1p4 so we need to format the efi system as fat32 and root partition as ext4 so type mkfs.fat-f32 slash dev slash your efi partition block number after that type mkfs.ext4 slash dev slash your root partition block number now we need to mount those partitions as well so type mount slash dev slash your root partition block number and then type space slash mnt and after that type mount dash dash mkdir slash dev slash your efi partition block number space slash mnt slash boot now once this step is completed now we can type arch install and go into the arch install interface Now you can leave the few options as it is and then go to disk configuration. Now since we have already mounted those partition, click on pre-mounted configuration and type slash mnt. Now after that, for the bootloader, choose grub bootloader. Now leave few options as it is and go to root password and set your desired root password. After that go to user account and select add a user and type your username and your password and enable sudo for this user. Now after that go into your profile and select desktop. Now choose your desired desktop environment. For this video I am going to choose XFCE4 and for the graphics driver if you have a NVIDIA GPU choose the option which says NVIDIA proper proprietary otherwise you can leave it on all default now go to audio and choose pipe wire you can leave few options as it is and then go to network configuration and choose network manager now you can leave the rest of option as it is and begin the installation now this installation process is going to take a while so I'm going to fast forward this part so as you can see the installation is finally completed now choose yes and then type exit and reboot and this will reboot your system now press the boot selection menu key and choose the arch linux option to boot from boot into arch linux So as you can see we have installed Arch Linux successfully but now we need to configure the dual boot with Windows. So for this open your terminal 
and make sure you are connected to the internet first Now type sudo pacman-s os-proper and ntfs-3g. Now os-proper helps to detect the other operating systems in grub. Now after that type sudo nano slash etc slash default slash grub and then go to the bottom of this file and uncomment the line which says grub disable underscore os proper equal to false press ctrl plus o to save and ctrl plus x to exit now regenerate the grub config file using this command grub dash mk config dash o slash boot slash grub slash grub dot cfg Now restart your computer and while your computer is restarting go to your BIOS menu and make sure that the Arch Linux Grub has the highest boot priority and after that save it and exit. Now each time you start your computer you will see a Grub menu to choose between operating system. So first I am going to boot into Arch Linux. Now let's try to reboot into Windows to check if Windows is working or not. So as you can see we are also able to boot into windows. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.